All right, so I'm pretty excited. My uh, license, my ham radio license, amateur radio license, just hit the FCC database about two hours ago. Um, it took about a week. I took the test last Tuesday, um, and today is Tuesday. And um, so it took about a week to get in. And so I thought over my lunch break, I would try and make my first contact on two meters. So I have a mobile rig uh, in my car. We're programmed up to one of the um, big local repeaters here that I've been hearing a lot of traffic on over the last few weeks that I've been monitoring it. And uh, so I figured we'd put it, my call out there, try and do a radio check and see if we can get it. Um, obviously being two hours I've had my license, I have it written down on my piece of paper so I don't forget what it is when I'm, when I'm calling. I also have the phonetic um, spelling of it written down as well, just to, as I start getting used to this. And then I do have the paper and pen so I can write down their call sign. As, I, as you start to get better at you know hearing call signs or remembering them, obviously first time transmitting, um, don't know how it's gonna go. So I have the radio turned up. Hopefully you guys can hear it. And uh, let's see what we can do here. KE0 WKP looking for a radio check. So you can hear I'm reaching the repeater because the repeater's responding. So we'll see if anyone's monitoring the repeater. If not, we can always switch to a different repeater as well. KC zero USM is K E zero W K P. Uh, how am I coming in? This is a new rig, and actually, I've only had my license for about two hours now. So, uh, first time transmitting on the mobile rig. Well, thank you. You're coming in uh, loud and clear over here. I'm out in West Omaha, currently parked like 180th and Dodge. So this is KE0WKP. The name is Mike. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be in the hobby. And it's kind of fun to transmit for the first time after you've been listening for about a month and finally got the test taken and the license was in the database. So that was actually my concern. I'm running a, a relatively cheap, it's a QYT, um, I think it's a K8900D, I believe. It's a 25 watt radio. Um, I have actually a new one coming tomorrow. This was something that I was, I'm planning on putting this actually in the house uh, once the new radio comes. I got a Yaesu uh, KTM 400 coming for the car tomorrow. And then this little, uh, this little rig will go in the house as a base station and we'll see how that works. So yeah, only 25 Watts, but you know, I'm kind of up on a hill here on 180th and Dodge. So far West Omaha, but yeah, I know where Missouri Valley is. 
been there uh, a few times. So I'm glad to hear this radio works and I uh, appreciate you responding and being my first contact on, on amateur radio. That's KE0 WKP Kilo Echo Zero Whiskey Kilo Papa. WKP, okay. I got you now. KE0 WKP. Uh, right O. And you said you just got your license today? Correct. It uh, just hit the database about two hours ago. You know, I've been checking it, of course. I've been really excited. So I woke up, checked the database. It wasn't in there. And then about 9.30, I checked again, and, and it showed up in the database. So, yeah, just today. appreciate that. Yeah, I'll definitely send you an email. I had, you know, I've been monitoring for the last few weeks, and so I have a few repeaters that I got from Repeater Book, but it's always good to know which ones are actually, you know, used all the time and have a lot of traffic on them, because I feel like a lot of times I'm scanning, but but not picking up much traffic. So I can, if I can program in some of the uh, ones that are actually really active, that would be super helpful. So I will send you an email and uh, good to know that 443.450 uh, repeater is active. Do you know where that one's located? I have been picking one up. I think it's in Honey Creek, if that's, uh, if that's right. But yeah, this weather today is just absolutely perfect. Can't complain, huh? I mean, it's just like, all right, you know, get, get, a, good, uh, get a good start to the day, that's for sure. Um, I don't, it's located in Omaha. Um, it has a PL tone of 100 hertz on it. Um, and you're right, the Honey Creek one is also an active one. Some of the repeaters that I'm on aren't exactly active, but the thing I tell amateur radio operators all the time is, is if you want a repeater to be active, the best way to be active is each day you get up on the radio, throw your call sign out on various repeaters, and if somebody's monitoring one of those repeaters, they're going to get back to you. So, um, you know, that's the best thing you can do. Sometimes you got to make a repeater active if you want it active, uh, which involves, uh, you know, getting on there and, and, and talking and stuff. So that, that's, that's usually the uh, thing I tell uh, ham operators. A uh, 146.82 is another one that you might hear quite a bit uh, that's active. Uh, that one's in Council Bluff. Um, so there's another, there's another one. Um, but again, like I say, even... Even without the activity, if, you know, best way to make a repeater active is to get on it, throw your call sign out, and if somebody's monitoring, they'll hear you. Yeah, exactly. That was kind of my plan was to, you know, on my commute to and from work, hop on the radio and and get the conversation going. Obviously, haven't been able to do that before today, so excited to you know, maybe get those conversations flowing. And, uh, you know, I appreciate it. And I am going to uh, head in here actually and, and, and get some lunch, but I appreciate you being my first contact. And hopefully I will 
uh, contact you again on one of these repeaters and I will see you around. I, I appreciate all the information. Um, KE0WKP, going to be clear on 94. What you can do is program even the non active repeaters that you see in the repeater book, uh, the ones that are on air. Make sure you look on the repeater book listing, and if it says on air, then that means it's a repeater that you'll be able to uh, get a hold of. KC0SWG, who is administering the Nebraska list, is doing a fantastic job of keeping tabs on all that. So uh, you, you look up uh, uh, on repeater book and put in all those Omaha ones that. Uh, You'll, you'll, you'll hear me on, on, on something for sure, because I usually try to check in on each of the repeaters I can get into. All right. Well, you have a good one, and we'll catch you later. Uh, this is KC0 USM, Missouri Valley. Uh, clear and listening on 9 4. Well, thanks again, uh, 73. And this is KE0 WKP, clear on 9 4. Okay, that was a ton of fun. That was even better than I thought. And luckily I got someone who was kind of engaged and wanted to have a conversation with me. And you know, from, from listening around for uh, the last few weeks, not being able to transmit, that is exactly, actually what I've seen is that these people on ham radio are super nice, super helpful. They want to see more people get into the hobby. And so they're always willing to chat with you and talk. So man, this is, if this is just the beginning, if, if they all go that well, this is going to be a really fun hobby. Um, you know, two hours in and I'm already having a total blast. So really excited my radio works um, and, and just glad everything's going well. Man, that was a ton of fun. So if you guys are wondering what a first contact looks like, that's it. That's all it is and that was a lot of fun.